Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Jay Speak. This week we cover some questions. So the first question I got is the Marshall Silver Jubilee 2555X and 2525H. So the 100 watt head and the 20 watt mini Silver Jubilee, basically the same tonally, except for the power section. Yes, I have owned both. I would tell you that the 100 obviously is much more beefier. You know, I think you can coax so many of those great tones from the 100 watt head out of the 20 watt head and you can even get it. Uh, you know, the 5 watt setting is a little meh. As far as the 100 watt head, I prefer it on the 100 watt head at full power versus half power too. So I don't know if that says something about the design of the amp, that the full power sounds a lot better than the half power. Maybe that's me. I don't know if any of you own either one of those heads, if you can speak to that. I think both are the same amp, just less power tubes and smaller transformer, bigger transformer kind of deal. Great amps though. Smaller amp heads, you know, the 15, 20 waters. I would tell you that I just picked up the PRS MT-15. Kind of working through that one right now. So I don't want to give an answer just yet, but I did get your question. I'm thinking about it. I would say as far as the orange terror heads, I think my favorite so far has been the Brett Hines. Um, I really like the Jim Root too. I don't know, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll answer that one later. I, I didn't forget though. But along the lines of orange, I saw a comment about an open back 412 and I think that would just be <laughs> crazy, crazy. So the more involved question and the last question for the week that we're going to talk about is the orange ABY or just any ABY versus the Mesa head track and what the difference is. These two pedals are different. This is an ABY between two different amp combos, half stacks, etc. This is two amps into one cabinet with effects loops options. So totally different. Now you can run independently different chains of effects through different amps with the detonator, which is awesome. And then you can use them both together. Huger sound, just fuller. I would tell you running in stereo is probably one of my favorite things to do when I'm just screwing around. This is really cool for that, but also if you have a Strymon Timeline, Mobis, any stereo pedal, reverbs, whatever, you can do that with. You can run two different amps um, at the same time. The Mesa head track is purely for those two heads and I wanna run into that cab. Period. You can't run both heads at the same time through the cabinet, taking less to a gig. Now, I would tell you, I would gig with this and both of those heads right there and that cab. That would give me four channels, four channels, which is awesome. Toured with a Mesa Roadster for years, and that had four channels. I could coax basically anything I want out of that amp. It was great. I had a 412, which Again, a lot of places don't appreciate now, but it was great then. It was fantastic. I talked a long time about carrying a Fender Twin around and, you know, a Mesa Rectiverb or something. So I'd have all the cleans from Fender and then I would have Mesa Dirt. Now in that case, because a Twin is a combo and the Mesa is for the Dirt section, I would use the detonator because I don't necessarily want to use both of the amps at the same time. I mean, you could, but I just want to AB between both amps. If I wanted to go to a gig and I only want to bring one cabinet, but I want to bring two heads, I bring this guy. And the cool thing about this is you can run effects independently and that's fine, but you can actually wire your board. So all of your effects run into here, both of your amps run into here and your cabinet runs into here. So the total output, you can actually select any effect on your board through the effects loop of the pedal for either head through that one cab. That's why this is important. So I hope that helps because I, I can see where it's a little confusing, but both pedals definitely have their uses and can help you out a great deal depending on what you're trying to do. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Message me, hit me up. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Many more videos to come. Don't miss one sub.